to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews. I am Eric, and today I'm excited to talk to you about this 23 cubic feet smart counter depth four door flex refrigerator with beverage center and dual ice maker from Samsung. And this is a really awesome refrigerator. We've had it for several weeks and we absolutely love it. And so I wanted to do a detailed review to really show you everything you could want to know about this refrigerator. Keep in mind this same refrigerator is available in different configurations. You can get it without the beverage center. You can get it uh, in non counter depth so that it's slightly bigger. You can also get it with a smart family hub that has a nice display here that's basically like a big tablet on your refrigerator that you can use for smart things. Uh, and this refrigerator is a smart refrigerator but it doesn't have the family hub. So there are different configurations but this specifically is the four door flex uh, Wi-Fi smart and with beverage center which you'll see in a second and with the dual ice maker. So what I want to start with is I want to start with talking about the things about this refrigerator that we love the most. And then I'll show you the other details because there's other great things, but there's specific things that are the reason why we got this refrigerator. First of all, you can see completely smooth, nice four doors, there's no handle sticking out or anything, so it just looks great. It just looks very nice and sleek in your kitchen uh, and really beautiful design. Uh, but looking into the really cool things, uh, well, first, let me just show you the top is your standard two door refrigerator. You open it up, got lots of space in there and we'll look at that closer later. But what I want to show you that's really cool. If I do this, look at that. That's like magic. And this is called the beverage center. First of all, you have a couple of trays here where you can access stuff easily without actually going into your refrigerator. But here's your beverage center. This pitcher automatically fills up with water every time you put it in there, if you have it set to. So, you know, if you have a really big glass you're trying to fill, a lot of times if you're using the regular water dispenser, you're sitting there, do, 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 do. But with this, you just pull it out and pour, and it's good to go, and it's filtered water. There's also a little thing in here you can put tea bags or lemons or limes or whatever you want to put in here if you want to flavor your water. And uh, you pour your water out, and then you put this back in, and it's going to fill back up for you automatically chilled water ready to go in the pitcher. But then you also have your regular water dispenser right here. So you just put your glass against here. If you want to fill up a water regular way, you have that method. Also, what's really cool is because this is hidden, you know, with those regular water dispensers, you see people with the napkins or the paper towels inside the tray, which looks kind of trashy. But then if you don't do that, the water drips down and you get the uh, the little uh, calcium deposits, which also looks bad. With this, you don't worry about that because it's all hidden behind the door. But what I've also noticed that's really cool about this refrigerator is I have not yet seen it drip. When I stop getting water and I pull it away, there's no drip, which is awesome. But even if there was, it's all hidden. That's the beverage center. That's one of our favorite, favorite things. Now, the next favorite thing that we love about this refrigerator is the dual ice maker. So let's take a look at that. So right here on the left side of the refrigerator, you open that door and this is the bottom freezer left side freezer and look at here two dual ice maker two ice makers and you have your regular ice here or you have your bite size ice look at that or also known as pellet ice now that was one of the selling features for this refrigerator for us having both uh regular ice one you don't have to sit there again if you push your a uh, cup against regular ice dispenser. You sit there and you're waiting and you're hearing that grinding noise and then eventually a couple of pieces fall out. Then you wait for a while longer and more pieces fall out. But with this, you have your ice ready to go. You just scoop it up and you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about waiting for ice. And besides that, you've got two types of ice. And both of them are better shaped than most ice makers because they're square with rounded corners. They don't do that weird thing that those oblong skinny ones do where they get stuck they block the liquid from getting to your mouth. You don't have that because these are nice square rounded pieces of ice, as you can see here, nice square rounded piece. And then uh, also you have the option to do the nice bite size ice, which really, really is cool. And as you can see, you can easily get to it just by pulling this tray out and it goes right back in. So that's the first thing we, uh, second thing we love about this refrigerator and is why we got it. Now, the third thing that we love the most about this refrigerator is the other side. This is the right side. You open that up. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, why do you have two different uh, 
bottom section freezers. That doesn't make any sense. Why not just have one big section? And why have doors like that? And that's because that's one of the things that makes this a flex refrigerator. This entire side is a flex zone. It can be set to be different things. You probably already can tell because we have beverages in here. This is not a freezer, but it could be if we wanted it to be. Uh, this can be set to be a freezer and match exactly what you have your freezer set to, or it has about five other settings, soft freeze, uh, fish and meat, uh, veggies, uh, beverage, uh, different settings. Now you can't control exactly the temperature of this, if it's freezer, then it does exactly match whatever this is, the freezer is. But if you set it to any of those other ones, they have preset temperatures. So I have it set on the fruit and veggies, which is 36 degrees, just a little bit above freezing, which is the perfect temperature for me to keep all of our beverages really nice and chilled and ready to drink. And so we're using this as a beverage center. But if we need more freezer space, you could make this a freezer and store frozen stuff in it, store ice cream and stuff in it, whatever you want. It's up to you. And that's one of the awesome things about this refrigerator is that you have this flex, flex zone that you can use the way you want to use it. Those are the three things that we absolutely love the most and are the reason why we bought this refrigerator. Now let's take a look at more details of this refrigerator. Again, you do have this top section is double sided and you grab it in the bottom. I'm still getting used to that. Uh, because my old fridge you grabbed on the side. So once you get used to it though, of course, like anything in life, you will get used to it. Um, but you can see lots and lots of room in this refrigerator. Uh, you've got your nice large door uh, caddies and you can use as many of these. You can have up to four on this side. We have three because we wanted more height available here, uh, but lots of room there. We still have empty space there. Uh, these shelves are adjustable. Uh, so you can see these are separately adjustable. So you can have one of these higher than the other, one of these lower. This shelf has the drop down unit if you wanted just this front part to, to be gone so that you could put taller things there. You can drop that down and use that that way. You do also have your two uh, crisper trays. This is the standard crisper and then this is the flex crisper. This is a flex crisper because if you want to, you can set it specifically for uh, meat meat and fish uh, and it'll be set to a set it'll put it to a setting to best keep meat and fish uh, fresh while they're in the refrigerator so that's really cool you do have your water filter here changeable water filter so that you can change that out up at the top there you have a uv deodorizing filter so that's a really cool feature uv deodorizing filter to deodorize the uh, refrigerator you can see there's plenty of light in this refrigerator easy to see everything uh, without any problems at all. Also, if you can see in the back there, you have the triple and metal cooling. So the back is metal. There's also metal in this door here. Uh, and that metal, what that does is if you've ever sat on a cold chair or sat on a metal chair uh, in a gymnasium with bare legs, you know metal stays cooler than other things much longer. So they incorporate metal into the refrigerator to help it maintain its coolness uh, with using less power, which is really cool door alarm you can hear that right now and so if you ever leave the door open it will let you know i'm going to shut this door because i want to turn that off for a second and then we'll open it right back up and uh let's see you've got that you can see you've got a basket here so even though you've got that beverage center there you can still put quite a few things right here they made sure that to utilize all the space in this refrigerator and then you've got these two baskets up here which again are great because you can access them from this side, but you can also access them uh, from the beverage center uh, from this side. So things that you're going to use, you could put stuff specifically there that you use in the mornings, however you wanted to set it up. It's just great to have that option. And then of course that really cool beverage center there. One other thing I did want to show you is that the controls are right here on the refrigerator and you can do control all the settings here. Uh, but, What's really cool about this refrigerator, it is a smart refrigerator. You can connect this refrigerator to your Wi-Fi and then install the SmartThings app on your phone. And you can see inside the SmartThings app, I can control the entire refrigerator in the app. I can change the temperature. I can change the flex zone. I can change the crisper. I can also, what's really cool is I can turn the, well, I can turn the ice maker on and off. But what's really cool is that door alarm you heard you also get a notification on your phone if the door is open. 
So let's say you're running out the door, your kid runs and grabs a drink, and then joins you in the car and you take off. You don't know your kid left the refrigerator door open. You'll get a notification on your phone. So you would know you'd be able to go home really fast and get that door shut so you're not wasting a lot of energy or thawing out your freezer. Uh, so that's really cool, having that smart aspect, being able to control the refrigerator on your phone, as well as getting those notifications. Really, really cool uh, sort of bonus feature of a refrigerator like this. Now let's take a closer look at the uh, freezer and the flex section on the refrigerator. So here we have the freezer side, and this is always a freezer. You've got lots of storage space here on the door as well as down here. Now one thing you might think is with a lot of freezers, refrigerators that have a freezer on the bottom, the whole drawer pulls out. And you might think, okay, do I have to get down on my hands and knees to get stuff out of there when I want it? No, you don't. And that's because they thought of everything. You see, it slides out. You don't have to dig down in there. This slides out. So I don't have to get down on my hands and knees and reach back there. I just pull it out and what I need is right there. And then of course, your bottom basket pulls out. So they really designed it to work uh, with the door design. Uh, you just pull the tray out and you have easy access to everything you need. Jumping over to the flex side, again, this could be a freezer or it can be like we're using it as a beverage center or an additional refrigerator, however you wanna use it. Uh, we've got it as a beverage center, so we've got the, the door trays full of beverages. And again, you don't have to reach down and dig in there to find the beverage you want. You just pull the tray out and you've got access to all your beverages. Easy. You can pull this tray out, grab the beverage I want and push it back in. And of course, you've got your tray at the bottom for even more storage. So they designed this to be able to be utilized as a freezer or as when anything you want to use it for and be able to have easy access to everything uh, that is in there with no issues at all. So hopefully I did a good job of explaining why I think this is absolutely one of the best refrigerators you can buy, refrigerator freezers. Uh, we love the design, a nice sleek design, smooth front, uh, so it looks great. Uh, it has a lots of room. Again, this is the counter depth that you're looking at. They do make it in the non-counter depth, which would have even more room. The counter depth is 23 cubic feet. Um, but especially having that beverage center there with the uh, pitcher and the regular water dispenser, that was one of the big selling points for us. We love that aspect. Also having the dual ice maker, being able to not only have ice that's just ready to go without having to wait for the dispenser, but also having two types of ice, having the regular ice as well as especially that tiny little uh, bite size ice. Awesome. Having that flex uh, section that we could designate as a freezer if we needed it but right now like us we're able to use it as a beverage center and store all our beverages there and then just have a really great refrigerator with lots of space and storage having that smart wi-fi aspect uh, the uv deodorizing filter really everything you could want in an excellent refrigerator freezer you get it in this uh, counter depth four door flex refrigerator from samsung with the beverage center and the dual ice maker. Anyway, that is gonna be it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. Uh, if you know anyone who might be interested in a new refrigerator, share the video with them. All those ways are down there. Uh, don't forget to favorite this playlist to keep up with future product reviews or go ahead and subscribe to my channel and keep up with all my videos. If you have any questions, anything I didn't cover, feel free to post it in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. Anyway, that's going to be it until next time, so be safe and be happy.